If you're a Windows user and not using Microsoft Power Toys, you're definitely missing out. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the newest utility in Microsoft Power Toys, Mouse Without Borders. This lets you use just one mouse to control multiple computers, one keyboard to type across them, and you can even share your clipboard and files between them. If you're familiar with Logitech Flow, it works much the same way. Mouse Without Borders have been around as a separate utility for quite some time now, but now that it's part of Microsoft Power Toys, I think it's easier to access and use than ever. Installation. First thing first, you'll need the latest version of Power Toys. If you don't already have it installed, you can go to the Microsoft Power Toys GitHub release page. I'll put the link in the description below. There you'll see a few different options. You can choose whether you want to install Power Toys for a specific user on your computer or to install it machine-wide. And you would choose the right option based on your system architecture. You can check your system architecture by pressing Windows plus R, then typing in MS Info 32, then pressing OK. This will open the system information window. Look for the system type field, which will show you which system yours is based. Then just download the appropriate exe file. Once the file has been downloaded, right click on it and choose run as an administrator. But if you already have Power Toys installed, go to the system tray, select Power Toys. If there is updates available, hit the cog for the settings and update it from there. Mouse Without Borders. From the Power Toys settings, choose Mouse Without Borders. Open settings and enable Mouse Without Borders by switching on the toggle button. Select New Key to generate a security key for connecting. You'll need this key along with the name of the computer to enter into the second computer. On the second computer, go to Mouse Without Borders and enable it. Hit the Connect key. Then enter the security key that was generated from the first computer along with the full computer name. Then select Connect again. We can now see the laptop showing up in the first position of the device layout. We can rearrange the order of the computer to ensure it mirrors their physical layout. In my case, I have the laptop to the left and the desktop monitor to the right, so this arrangement doesn't need to be changed. But if you need to, you can just click and drag the appropriate computer. We can connect and control up to four computers with a single mouse and keyboard. Now the moment of truth. You can see I have the laptop to the left and the desktop screen to the right. The cursor is hard to see in the white background, so let me change them. Now you can see that I'm moving my mouse across two displays, and it's pretty seamless. You can also use a single keyboard to type on either computer as well. But what's really cool is that I can copy and paste items across the two devices. So here I have a picture of a butterfly on a shirt. I'm going to right click and hit copy. Now I'll move the cursor to the desktop computer and right click to paste. Let's just make sure that it's the right file and it sure is. I think this is amazing. No more juggling between different keyboards and mice or fussing over transferring files. Mouse Without Borders makes it all a breeze. Again, if you've been sleeping on Microsoft Power Toys, it's definitely worth giving it a second look. It has a bunch of really practical and useful suite of utilities all available for free. If you're interested in learning more about Power Toys, check out this playlist.